My name is Susie Wilkinson and in 2017 I was a student at the Mosaic Center and an honor to be a graduate of class 25. My journey getting to the Mosaics was not a simple one, but one that I would not change looking back on it now. Everything I went through as a child and a young woman were all things that God was going to use for His glory. I remember the first day I walked into the doors of the Mosaic. My thoughts were, this is going to be a cakewalk. All I had to do was sit in a class all day and listen to some ladies talk. Little did I know, the Mosaic offered way more than just jobs for life, seven decisions, boundaries, or cute little ladies just talking. No, they actually encourage you to be a part of the class, to interact and show interest. One of the days um, I hold close to me is the day in Jobs for Life we were asked to get up and share a part of our testimony. This was a day that I realized that everyone has a story. I started to understand that we had all been broken at some point in our lives and that it wasn't just the students that were there for healing, but the teachers had stories of their own. We were all in search of hope and a savior. Every morning at 8 a.m., the doors of the Mosaic Center would open for those who wanted to come and sit around the breakfast table before they went to class. And as weeks went by, I started looking forward to sitting around that table every morning with all the ladies. This table had become a safe place for each one of us. We didn't just come to the Mosaic to go to class. They gave us the opportunity to start building something that we, we didn't realize at the moment was happening, but would later realize it in the, the end of the semester. I started to listen to some of their stories and a little by little started sharing some of mine. Even that so-called hardened heart, I could feel something tugging at me as we all shared bits and pieces of our stories. The things that are happening in our day-to-day -day life and what our goals and dreams were. I sit and I imagine today how many tears have been shed at that breakfast table and the 100 plus sounds of laughter that have come eat from each seat. While at the Mosaic Center, I was able to let down those walls that I had around me to keep me safe. I had built relationships with women who are still friends and mentors in my life today. And the biggest takeaway is that hardened heart. Somehow, God used each one of those little ladies to chisel away all the corrosion around my heart to allow others to see the pain that was built up so that they could see the miraculous miracle of our God and his, his desire to love us and carry the pain from our past. Once you allow God to heal you and show you what he ha is able to do in your life, which is for the people that love him, more than the eyes have seen, the ears have heard, and it has never even entered our minds. Now that I look back on my life, I can see God with me during every storm. I can see him with the abuse by my father because I don't remember any of the details. I can see him in my life at the orphanage because it felt like home and it never felt like I was around strangers. I felt him through the drugs and alcohol because I never became addicted. I saw him in the woods when I wanted him to take my life, but I walked out knowing that was not an option for me. And I saw him in prison where he comforted me and started to teach me how to be in a relationship with Him. I also see Him in my everyday life, where He chooses the people and the relationships that are in place to help me stay on the right path. God opened the door for me to start mentoring in class 35 at the Mosaic Center. You will never understand how deeply you can love these ladies until you are able to walk with them through the, their everyday experience at the Mosaic. I am now able to be one of those little ladies that sit and talk with those beautiful daughters of the Most High God. To love them and share with them at that breakfast table what God wants to do with them. Mosaic Center taught me to love people where they are at and to allow God to lead me in every relationship and conversation I encounter. 
I am blessed to be able to use the skills that I have learned from the Mosaic Center in my job as the Outreach and Missions Director at Clawson Assembly of God. One of many of the things I learned through going through the Mosaic Center is we don't have to be victims of circumstance or be weighed down by the guilt of our sin. We can be honest with God and He will help you turn your attention from yourself to Him and His mercy. In His time, He has brought the best of the best into my life to be mentors, teachers, and my friends to help Him sharpen me. Thank you, Mosaic Center, for giving me the opportunity to give back to such an amazing ministry. Mosaic graduate of Class 24, Fall 2016. My story starts off with me being born in prison. My great aunt took custody of me. When my mother got out, she came and got me. I was around five or six years old. I was introduced to my father and my four siblings. I felt so alone and out of place. My mother did not show love, acceptance, nor would she give me any of her time. She spent her time working, getting high, drunk, or fighting with my dad. The older I became, the more I started looking for love and acceptance in all the wrong places. My mother finally made a change and she started going to church. She stopped drinking, doing drugs, smoking cigarettes, and even became a minister. My mother did not teach me life skills, but she did teach me about God and who He was. I did not know about the harsh world and how to handle problems that would possibly occur in my life. So I did what I knew best. I started getting high, drunk, going out to clubs, leaving my children with others, and going in and out of jail, and eventually alcohol and drug rehabilitation. I began to pray to God to help me out of this vicious cycle. And, and in 2010, I decided it was time for a change and I surrendered my life over to God. I had to face the penalties of my choices and I fought hard to get in Judge White Drug Court. That September, I was accepted in that program, and I am proud to say that I completed it. By this time, I knew I wanted to become a substance abuse counselor, but to get into college, I knew I would need help in math. I decided to put an application in for the Mozak Center to get the help I needed. Little did I know I was going to get so much more while attending Mosaic, I found the God I was looking for. I was able to build a personal relationship with Him. I found new friends, listening ears, love, and acceptance. The women's at the Mosaic Center gave me a new look at life. And while I was there, I found out that everything I'd been looking for in others started with me. Once I graduated from Mosaic, I knew I wanted to do whatever it took to get to the next level in life. I cannot thank the Mosaic Center enough for allowing me to find myself and for spending so much of their time understanding, patience, listening, encouragement, and the smiles that never faded. In November of 2017, I started attending an online college and graduated with an associate's and bachelor's degree in human and social services. My goal is still to become the best substance abuse counselor I can be. I currently work as an intake specialist at a recovery center that I love. I have two beautiful, amazing adult children who has blessed me with five grandsons and a great granddaughter that I love so dearly. I've been married to my husband, Danny, for over 21 years. I am 58 years old and I am just now living my best life. I have the love, acceptance, and self-belongings because I found God and I found me at the Mosaic Center.